Good day, everybody. We're here at the property. I got the BX23S behind us. It's time to get it out. The ground is somewhat hard. It's a little cold outside, but we got a few things we have to do. The issues we're having with the cabin is the cabin is just way too humid. Where we put the cabin is kind of where a wet spot's at. So what we're gonna be doing today is ditching around the cabin and getting ready for a somewhat like a French drain. But I think since we're off grid, I don't really wanna go French drain. I think I'll just ditch it just to ditch it. And uh, we'll throw some rocks in it and have like a nice rock garden. Let's get started, get the BX off here and uh, go start to play. Again, I want to give you guys kind of like a layout of what is the issue with the cabin and what we're looking to fix. Now we did some grading back here and I thought I fixed some of the water issues that we had, but it's apparent now that we need to go a little better. What's happening now is the blocks are not sinking, like nothing's sinking, but what's happening is the water is just the, the underneath of the cabin. We didn't raise it up high enough in my opinion, so we're gonna be raising that later, but the ground is staying wet and it's making the cabin very humid. And not that we have mold or anything, but we need to fix it. The issue is it's rolling down the hill here and it's getting over here. Now here it's really, really wet. And it's just not happening, so. We're gonna ditch over here. We're gonna ditch all around it, but this is really the problem area. And we didn't get to finishing the gutter like I wanted to, so we got water dropping here, and it's just, it's just a big mess right now. So here's another thing, water standing. You can see that it's underneath the cabin too as well. We gotta take care of it. We have to take care of it before any more of the snow comes, any more rain. and. We just have to do it now. Plus it'll make the cabin more comfortable and set us up for in the springtime when we do put concrete pillars in the ground and raise the cabin off the ground a little bit more so we can get underneath of it. So what we're gonna be doing is coming off the cabin, I, I'd say maybe two feet off the cabin and then ditching all the way around. So we're gonna run a ditch here. We're gonna use that new BX expand tool, the ripper tool and make the ditch come through here. Again, we'll be about two feet off, maybe three feet off of the cabin on this side. And same thing, you know, two or three feet off the cabin in the back. Let's get to her. The BX made pretty quick work of this. The ditch is about a foot and a half, two feet deep all the way down. I was debating on mounting it up on this side, but then I decided against that. But this is what we're dealing with. This is clay soil and you can see it rolling in here. See how fast it's coming in. It's coming actually off the tree roots. 
It's about the only way it can get around in the ground around here. But this is it, about a foot and a half. We're gonna do this all the way around. It only took maybe five minutes or so to get this done. And we're just gonna continue it around. I do have an issue though. We have this tree stump that uh, is right here at this end. That's gonna be an issue. So we're gonna have to use the ripper tool for that. I think the next step is to come here to the front and then start coming down this way. All right, so here, here we have it so far. It's a little bit of a beginning to be a muddy mess on this backside here, but the tritch to tritch. The ditch is just about completed through here. I did get a little close to the cabin, but that's because this big maple tree that's right here, uh, that's gonna come down here pretty soon. Unfortunately, I can't do it right this minute, but we'll pull that stump out of there and it'll give us our that room back i've been wanting to take it down because i was worried we already had a tree fall down here on the cabin and break that end so this ditch is cut in Now that we have the ditch dug all the way around the cabin, I'm I'm gonna leave this just like this until probably springtime, maybe even a little later. But we have to, to fix the walkway. So what I'm gonna do temporarily is install just a, a four inch, 10 foot corrugated pipe right here at the walkway. And then I will backfill that in. And what that'll do is allow the water in the, the ditch to drain out down into the creek while we can still use it. So I'm gonna hop to that and get to her because it's getting ready to start raining. That's what I was hoping to, to get ahead of. So.
So that is it for this video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave a comment down below if you think we should do something else. Uh, maybe give us some pointers on uh, what else to do, how to finish this off. But I think we're going to leave it just like this until spring. <laughs>